Adele from Let's Get Inky and I have a little haul for you today. So if you're not a fan of haul videos, switch off and wait until another crafty video pops up in your subscription feed. Um, I recently went to the Brisbane Paper Craft and Scrapbooking Expo and I taught there and I worked on the Cocoa Vanilla booth and it was so much fun. I got to meet so many of you inklets and it was great to meet you in person. Uh, and there was also a lot of shopping to do. I didn't realize how, how big it would be, but oh boy, it was big. So I got a couple of things and I thought I would show you. So before I even left New South Wales to head up to Queensland, I treated myself to some crafty things. I stopped off at the news agents at the uh, airport and I bought Frankie magazine because my friend, let's see, it's in the shop bit at the back. Where are you? There we are. My friend, Bella and Reg, is in it. So I had to get a copy um, so that I could keep that. Uh, she makes handmade pendants. You might have seen me wearing them in the vlog before. Um, but yes, that's my friend, Bella and Reg. She makes uh, pendants out of uh, Aboriginal and Indigenous fabrics and donates part of the um, price of them back to literacy initiatives for children from Aboriginal backgrounds. So great little... Uh, present if you need to buy something for someone and the thing I love about Frankie magazine is a the paper but also just the beautiful like patterns and pictures if you watch my journaling videos you know I like to use them uh, to cut out and use particularly in my travelers notebook journal with me videos I so that was $14 and then I also bought Daphne's diary for 11 and I just I saw these florals when I was flipping through it and I was like yep I'm done that's that's my set beautiful pieces if you love that girly like that mmm scrumptious beautiful uh, but yeah beautiful little bits to cut out and there's stickers and all sorts of things if you're into a bit of a florally feel so I got those uh, I've made a fort around myself, so hopefully uh, things won't fall too badly. So next up at the expo, there were so many stalls. I didn't get to go to all of them, but I picked a couple. Uh, and my main, my main goal for this trip was to buy some stamps and stencils, things that I can reuse over and over again. I didn't really need embellishments or papers or anything. I did get a couple, but my main thing was stamps and stencils. So first up, I went to Scrap Boutique and they're an online uh, Aussie store if you're looking for somewhere to buy stuff. And I got these scissors. So these are by American Crafts. And the reason why I got these is because I didn't have scissors and I needed them for my class. So these are my normal Nate Burkus, I think his name is, um, that lovely inklet Alice sent me. And then these are the American Crafts ones. So they're a little bit smaller, but they're nice and gold. And I, I desperately needed scissors while I was there. Then I thought because I've just taken the trip to Tasmania with Aaron and Archie and some friends and I just flew to Brisbane that it might be a good chance to get some travel stuff because I don't really have travel stuff. So I got the here and now ephemera pack and then this paper pad has some really nice, you know, travel-y, theme -y type papers and for $9.50 that's pretty much the, the best price you can kind of get the crepe paper paper pads here. So I got those two. Then I also stocked up and got some more of the Jane Davenport napkins that I love. You've seen these in some art journaling videos. So they were $14 for 30 um, napkins. I call We call them serviettes here in Australia, but they're napkins and they have different designs on them. Then I got some thickers. So these, these ones were $8 for a pack of thickers, uh, which is general, the norm here in Australia is you know, seven to ten dollars pretty much. Uh, and so that's why we get jealous when we see you American peeps getting them for cheap as chips. Uh, so I, I limited myself to just these ones because, you know, I'll use gold and white. Uh, and then I got these, which are my favorite font. I was looking for the glittery ones because I'm running low on them again. I think I'm out of T's. I'm out of a letter that I use a lot, T's or Y's or S's, one of them. Uh, but they didn't have the glitter ones. They only had these ones, which are a gold foil. And then these were something new. These were $6.50 and they were, they're a flat, 
sticker by Doodlebug, but I just really liked the, the font. So these ones are a nice gold shine. Oh, my dishwasher's finished, if you can hear that in the background. Uh, but I thought golden turquoise, I'd be able to get some good use out of those. Then I grabbed these. These are some metal dies in the shape of feathers and I thought these would be great for gold inky quills. I couldn't go past them for $11. That's a steal. So I, I had to, they had to hop in my pile of things. Uh, and then I went a little stamp crazy. Lucky I have my friend Nat there because she helped me back and we went through all of the stamps that I liked and she helped me pick the ones that were most me and not double up. So I got some hearts. So they were $17. It's a bit of a distressed heart. Um, they were pricey. This is, this is actually a reasonable, like normal price here in Australia. Uh, these were $28 and you get three little background stamps, but I really loved how messy they were. Then I got these because I love circles. I can't get enough of circles. So they were $25. Whoa. And then these ones were 28. Some numbers. I don't really have, I have one number one, I think. So I didn't really have numbers. This one I just thought was interesting. It was not like anything else I've got. It was just a messy collection of um, like pencil hand writing and a stamp and stars and I just it just really appealed to me so that was 17 and then a nice um, handwritten font one for 17 as well so I did buy a lot of stamps and it was a lot of money that's like over a hundred dollars worth of stamps but I that was my mission I, I pretty much spent all of my <laughs> any earnings that I made from teaching the classes but that's the thing you've got to buy more products to make more things and I tried to focus on like I said things that I can use over and over and over again or things that I can get a lot of use out of like a, an alphabet sheet. Stencil wise I got some of these I think these were I don't know how much they were mm. It might have been ten dollars. I'm not quite sure. Um, so this one's called mm, no, it's not called Myla. <laughs> Does it have a name? Oh, here we go. Picasso's words. And then this one is called Scribble Blooms. This one is very fragile. I'm not sure if it will live up to texture paste. We'll have to wait and see. This one is called Inky Hearts. And this one is called Grindstones. So even though it's a circle and a heart, I don't have ones like this, so I allowed myself to get them. <laughs> and then this was really different. This was a bigger one. Uh, it's about A4 size and they look like leaves. They remind me of uh, gum leaves. And so I thought that might be fun to play around with. And it's called Clustered Leaves. So they were all the goodies that I got from Scrap Boutique. Stay there. Uh, next up, I went to, and of course, I'm not sponsored by any of these people. I paid full price. I bought all the things, um, but I just thought I'd show you because sometimes here in Oz, it's hard to get products and it might show you a few new um, suppliers that you can buy things from. This one was from Michelle's Cards and Stamps. I think there's a website for that or it's in Queensland. And all I got here was a star stencil. And then this, mm, look at this, isn't this pretty? It's a flower stamp by Alt, how do you say this? Alter New? I think it's Alt, Alt and New and Alter New. I don't know how to say it, but that brand has been popping up all over my YouTube lately. And the flowers were exactly what I was looking for. I, I was desperate for a flower stamp. And as you can see, I did find several in a moment, um, but this one's definitely my favorite with all of the, the little ones. And I can just imagine this in a, in a clustered wreath. Mm, the bunnies sound like they're up to shenanigans. Don't know if you can hear that. I might see what they're up to. The bunnies were up to shenanigans, but I put a stop to it. Uh, so next up, as, as I've said, I was looking for floral stamps and I may have found a lot of them. Uh, so I went to the Crafty Chain and that looks like a shop in Queensland. 
and they have a website so you might be able to buy online and how pretty is this so this is a um, rubber stamp apparently you get a stencil which I probably wouldn't use those bits but I might cut that bit and save the lattice part uh, and there also is a coordinating die set but I don't use the dies I can just fussy cut them um, but the thing I really really liked about this is that you kind of got two background stamps as well so what I'll actually do is I'll take the stamp set I split it apart and I'll put these with my background stamps I just keep in a, a plastic container you would have seen it if you've seen my room tours before and then I think I'm going to have a, a floral container and I'm going to put all my flowers in one uh, box too because they seem to be the two that I reach for the most apart from roller stamps flowers and background stamps so I got this one for 20 which was fantastic pricing I got this pretty one uh, with the same thing it's got stencils I guess you could if you colored that and then stamped on top of it top of it you could use it like that but in all honesty I probably won't use the stencily part um, I would have loved it if it was like a stencil like like this that was just all flowers or all one thing uh, but they were $20 as well and then I got a few stencils and this is what started the buying um, by the way I have a piece of fabric down today because my lights it's a very rainy gloomy day here today and my, it's, so it's very dark and my lights are glaring off the table so I hope that it's okay that I've got a bit of fabric behind here uh, this is what started the buying because they were so cheap and so pretty this was a stencil that was only four dollars which is a steal unfortunately I didn't realize it was the last one and I didn't realize till later Later on that something has been dragged through um, the stencil so all through the middle here they're all rough and it's all messed up so I don't actually know if the stencil's going to work but for four dollars it's oh, it's not a big loss if it doesn't work I got this one that's kind of like a, a leaf pattern do they have names hmm this one's called stencil script this one is called stencil flower I wouldn't call that a flower but apparently it's a flower and then this one it's a bit of a debate whether it's a leaf is it a feather is it a leaf who knows uh, it says feather so there you go it, it determined what it was for us and then I got this one which was a big leaf pattern and it is called stencil leaf design 18.5 by 24.5 centimeters very specific name and a star one because now I've got my little stars I've got my big stars I'm a happy girl so this is good for stars are good for boy pages I find so that's what I got from the crafty chain and I'm making a little fort of supplies there so hopefully they don't go spilling everywhere uh, and then more stencils uh, so next up this was from catchy crafts and their stall was so busy they had an entire wall of dies lots of card making things lots of foam tape and also every tape you could possibly imagine um, but I kind of stuck to the stencily part of the stall I got a circle jelly plate I've actually I filmed jelly plate mini class uh, I think it was before Archie was born might have been early on in my pregnancy so probably about two years ago getting close to two years ago and I never released it because I have about 10 hours of voiceover to do uh, but I thought this might give me motivation to try and voice over it so stay tuned for a jelly plate class at some point hopefully before Archie's 20 years old uh, I got some of this this is metallic texture paste and it's called relief paste which is texture paste it's got foil on it so I haven't opened it yet I had it in a bag for the the plane because I never trust containers with liquids in them um, and I couldn't resist that because it was a beautiful gold and I think it was about might have been was under ten dollars maybe eight I think perhaps I grabbed some stencils I got some keys these ones were 550 I tried to get stencils that I don't have now I know it's more stars but it's different it's a it's a cluster of falling stars 
So it's it's different, isn't it, guys? Yeah, say it with me. It's different. It's okay that I bought it. Um, it's look, it's similar, but it's it's different. And it was only I think these were only seven dollars fifty, which for a stencil this size in Australia is just ridiculous. So I got those. I got does it have a name? Shooting stars. If you look for that one. I got this one, which is just beautiful, and I can't wait to have a play with that. It's called Nothing. It's called AS519. I got this one because I don't have a, a mermaid scale type stencil, so this was ASF, uh, AS485. I got a Distressed Alphabet, which was MA61. And I got a distressed heart. My friend bought this, which is what made me go to this stall and do some investigating. It's MA21. This, I don't have something this large like this. I have a tiny one, um, but I thought this might be fun to kind of trace around with some paint pens and do things inside. This is MA23. And then this one is circles, but it's different. I don't have circles like this. It's called MA55. So that's what I got from Catchy Crafts. And then my friend Nat spoiled me and she actually bought me some goodies before she came to um, Queensland and she brought them with her in a luggage for me, which was really sweet of her. And I thanks Nat, if you're watching. Um, she got me some of the other Jane Davenport napkins, which I'm really excited about. I love this and the paint, the paint swatches get me every time. So these were $15.50. Look at how pretty that is. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to have fun using those. And then she also got me some decoupage papers, some butterflies, which are really nice and soft. So it's like tissue paper. Some birdies with some flowers. Some cute little hearts, look like they've been watercolored on. And this one, which is just stunning. Oh, it's so pretty. And then she also got me, I haven't seen this, the Dilutions colouring sheets. And they're all little um, little phrases and colouring strips. So these would be great to do if you're uh, bored at night, sitting on the couch, you can get coloured markers or pencils out, colour them in. And so that when you get up to doing an art journal page, you can just tear this out and use it as a collage piece, which I think will be very, very fun. I love that one. And just some really cute, um, I'm not arguing, I'm just explaining why I'm right. That should be uh, on a shirt for Archie. <laughs> I love these little houses. Yeah, so that's really nice. And then some washi tapes. So these are called Art Therapy. And I do believe you can colour them in. So it says use fine tip markers or pencil crayons to bring illustration to life. So this one's got cactuses on it and this one has got some pretty butterflies if you can see those there and that's my haul so I I got all the things um I'm really oh stay there fabric oh okay texture paste just wants to roll away uh, I got lots of new goodies I'm currently in the middle of sorting out my new craft area I guess you could say I've got a new desk and so things have all changed around so I've got to find a way to store I love how I store my stencils but I think now I might be bursting the folder I might need a new way to store stencils not a new way but a new folder I think with more pages so we'll see what happens when I get to organizing but for now I'm just going to leave these pretties on my desk and look at them for a while thanks for tuning in today guys and don't forget I post a video every Friday over here uh, this is my RT channel, so I do art journaling, traveller's notebook journaling, uh, junk journaling, all the journalings, hauls, all sorts of stuff. And I also have the live streams that I think this is might be going up after the live streams, maybe. Uh, but keep an eye out if you do like that type of thing. I'll probably do some more in a few months. And thanks for watching today. I'll see you next time. Bye.